McCoy, you're one of several transfers coming into this SMU program. Uh, how is it different having been at a, a college before and coming into this situation as opposed to coming straight out of high school? Well, I've actually been at a couple colleges before I came to SMU. I was originally actually at the University of Louisville. Uh, my fr- my fresh my freshman year and half of my sophomore year before I transferred to Georgetown, where I finished out and graduated this past May, and then now obviously I'm at SMU. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, typically when you come in as a freshman in college, it's 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 an adjustment period. Uh, typically, people are just as strong as you are, just as quick, maybe quicker and stronger, have the same ability or even better. Um, so it's just adjusting your body, not only your body but your uh, mental ability and your high cue and learning the game because it moves at such a higher pace and guys at this level um, know how to play at different speeds. Their high, their high, IQ is obviously higher and then there's just like a lot of terminology and physicality to the college uh, uh, game that you typically don't get in high school. I would think it would have to be an asset having played already in two different, you know, good collegiate systems so far. I, I definitely agree with that 100%. I've been at two different programs with two really good coaches, obviously at University of Louisville with Rick Pitino and then at Georgetown with John Thompson the third. Um, definitely learned a lot from them. And obviously now being here with Coach Jankovic, who's been at a lot of different colleges coaching-wise, also played, obviously, um, was under Coach Larry Brown. Um, so he's been around. He knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. So, I mean, I've been around, you know, going to be around three really good coaches and have really picked up a lot in the four years I've been in college, going on five now. What is the SMU coach, what are you hearing from the SMU coaching staff about your role on this team, areas you need to improve in, how they see you fitting in? Um, well, personally for me, the biggest thing right now is just rehabbing and making sure um, I'm healthy uh, at the end of the season. While I was at Georgetown, I had meniscus surgery, so just rehabbing that. So that's the biggest thing right now, getting healthy and getting back on the floor and making sure my body's right. And then second of all, just basketball rise right now for me is just learning terminology, the play, stuff like that. That's kind of the breakdown. Obviously, we brought in five freshmen. Um, I'm a transfer. Um, obviously, Isaiah's been here for a little bit, but he's still learning a little bit. And then we'll have uh, uh, Jamal, um, who's also here. So, yeah, McMurray. So right now, right now, right now for the coaches, is breaking a lot of things down because we have a lot of new guys and obviously, you know, we have five freshmen, and typically it's, it takes a little bit for them to adjust and learn. So right now it's just a learning period for all of us. And you're stepping in in a situation where you could be a, where you could be a team leader because you have been in college four years already. I'm sure you're going to know Shake Milton and Jerry Foster and Ben Amelago. Uh Yeah, I mean, those are all really good guys. Uh, I actually, prior to um, coming to SMU, I knew Shimmy Ojale, um good friend that I've known since – Sophomore year of high school, um, I knew the former Keith Frazier who played here. Um, so I, I actually knew a couple of the guys. And then, I mean, just being around these teams, they're a great group of guys just to be around, hang around. And, you know, just the work ethic here in this environment, I think is great. Everyone's always in the gym, calling each other to get in the gym, just kind of always being around each other. And that's just, you know, in order to win, that's something that, you know, that connectiveness you need to have. And I think that's just going to resonate onto when we start playing games. Was knowing Shimmy and Keith, was that part of the decision-making that went into you transferring to SMU? Uh, I definitely 100%. Um, I definitely called Shimmy. Um, just kind of asked him about the program here, uh, how he liked the coaches and just the school in general and being in Dallas. And, I mean, obviously he had a lot of great things to say. And, obviously, Shimmy was a transfer just like I was coming from Duke. And just kind of the transformation they had with him was something that I saw as something very positive and was something I kind of wanted for myself also. So he had a lot of um, – High praise for SMU, and that you know definitely helped in my decision. Okay, Akoi, best of luck. Alrighty, thank you. Thanks for having me.